What's up guys? Welcome back to the Horror After Dark YouTube channel. If you aren't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for post notifications. You don't want to miss a single video in the future, but today guys, it's just me and yeah, I wanted to quickly talk more on Scream 6 here and I've seen a lot of things online of people uh, saying, like, Sydney's the killer and, like, you know, maybe Gail's the killer, which makes no sense. I mean, Gail is seen in the trailer fighting Ghostface. Dewey just died to Ghostface in Scream 5, and I don't see Gail or how anyone can see Gail being Ghostface. That, that was just, that that's stupid. I'm sorry. Uh, as far as Sydney goes... I see her having a higher chance of being Ghostface if it was one of those two, but I still don't see it being Sydney. I mean, I do have the personal opinion that Sydney will make an, a, a cameo appearance in Scream 6, maybe as like a phone call at the end, or maybe she is the killer, you never know. But I don't see her being the killer, but I do see like some sort of like phone call cameo. Uh, as far as who I think the killer is, and I've been sitting here thinking about it, and, and it's something I've thought about a lot since I watched the trailer, and I've watched that trailer like seven or eight times now. I think, in all seriousness, if you watch The Shrine Room, one of the cloaks has Billy Loomis's name on it, the rest are blurred out, so yeah, Billy's uh, original cape uh cloak is in the shrine room now as far as uh getting into it i think the killer could be sam carpenter the main character of scream 5 reason i say that and you know i know a lot of people are probably going to be like oh you're stupid uh blah 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 just hear me out right quick all right in the trailer we see a scene of sam saying you want me, let's finish this, and then they both tilt their heads slightly. That that just, I don't know, that's just very strange to me to put that back to back with the, like, slight head tilt in Scream 5. Uh, at the end, she kept bringing up being the daughter of a serial killer, <clears throat> Billy Loomis. And at the end, we see her finally kind of break with her dad's mentality, uh, jumping on top of Richie, stabbing him like, 30,000 times here, and who's to say that she didn't, like, break her psyche in Scream 5, and then in Scream 6, it's gonna be like a My Bloody Valentine type of ordeal where she doesn't know she's doing it. And I do think there's two killers here. I mean, obviously, uh, people are gonna mainly think there's one, but okay, there's obviously the ghost face with the old decrepit looking mask, who I think personally is someone from the past. And then we got the fresh polished ghost face mask in the subway scene where we see Mindy get attacked. I do think there are two ghosts or ghost faces, one being someone from the past and then someone new. Another complaint I see going on is the shotgun uh, scene in the gas station. Now, I don't think that is such a big problem to me. I don't find it to be a problem because every killer is different in this franchise. If it was the, if every killer had the same mentality as the last, this franchise would have been stale by now. Everybody would have stopped watching. The, these movies would tank. The cool part is anybody worldwide could be Ghostface. Like, you just throw on the mask, uh, bulletproof... Uh, vest and, and, and bam your ghost face so just find the hunting knife and yeah anybody could be ghost face so i do like the fact that you know some are kind of breaking the boundaries especially this one wanting to use a shotgun and he's hunting people with the shotgun now if this gun whole ordeal does go past like one or two scenes i would find it to be a problem as Ghostface's M.O. is using a knife and gutting people, not running around with a shotgun. I mean, it's going to be cool to see, like, once or twice. Now, I will agree with the majority if this is, like, a prominent thing throughout, like, where he's just opening fire. We don't want to see Art the Clown with his Tommy gun in Scream 6. But nonetheless, I do find it cool if this is, like, a one or two scene thing. As far as who... I think is going to die. I'm trying to keep this video more on track than what me and Drew's Scream 6 trailer was. Uh, you can kind of look at this as a second breakdown. Uh, 
As far as who I think's going to die in this movie, for sure, I think Samara Weaving's gonna die. Uh, Samara, Samara Weaving, whatever you uh, like to pronounce it. Uh, I think she's going to die. I see possibly Gail, and if it ain't Gail, I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be Kirby, but as me and Drew brought up yesterday, there's no reason you bring Kirby back just to kill her off in Scream 6. Like, she, she's, uh, I feel like she has a much bigger role to play. She's way younger than Courtney Cox, uh, who plays Gail. I do find Gail to die in this movie, and I know it's gonna hurt a lot of fans, but I just think we gotta face the facts that the times of the big three are coming to an end here. We're trying to move forward in this franchise. And the best way to do that is to, you know, bring back the legacy characters, but give them cool deaths. And that's exactly what we did with Dewey. I mean, his kill was the standout of five for me. Uh, I think Gail's going to die because we see her saying, I'm going to put her bullets in your face. And then he slams the door open, throws her gun hand up in the air, and then it uh, looks like he potentially stabs her, and I think he's going to stab her and use her as bait. Uh, either she will be saved or killed. You know, I think she's going to be put in some sort of trap. Uh, I see Mindy dying, and I don't think they're going to kill Ch or Chad. I think Chad will make it. I don't think they're going to kill him. Mason Gooding is a phenomenal actor, one of the standout actors of Scream 5 for me. And honestly, I really love this character. He's funny, he's goofy, and he's smart. Mindy, as far as she goes, as I said, she's just kind of Randy 2.0. Uh, she's the movie nerd of this franchise. We've seen how that went with Randy. He survived the first one and then got murked in the second one. I think we're going to see a repeat of that with Mindy here. Uh, you know, I would also have loved to see more of, uh, Randy's sister in 5, but who's to say she ain't gonna die in 6 or have a bigger role? I don't know. Uh, she's always kind of a side character, but I think it would have been intriguing to see where she goes with that. But a lot of these scenes just look very tense, brutal, and dark as we see, like, uh, Mindy and the group trying to cl or climb across the building to building with a ladder. I, I do think somebody's going to die there as they're going to, like, try to, like, crawl. Like, whoever's last to crawl through, I think, is going to, Ghostface going to pull the ladder on them and they're going to fall to their death. I do think that's going to be a kill. If it ain't, missed opportunity. I think it was a cool uh, kill thought. Uh, as far as that goes, guys, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Just some quick things that I wanted to get off my chest here. I do see Kirby playing a bigger role than uh, what is given. And I do think it's going to be Sam and somebody from the past being the killer. As I stated, I think Sam's psyche's just snapped and she's doing it without knowing she's doing it. I don't know. You know, every, this feels like... Me and Drew brought this up in our uh, Scream 6 breakdown. This is the first Scream movie where anybody can die. They're not scared of killing legacy characters now. Anybody can die. Anybody could be the killer. That That's what is fun about this movie. It's You're not going into it like, oh, okay, Dewey, Gale, and uh, Sydney, are, they're going to live. Like, no, nah, anybody can die now. Or, or do we prove that? R.I.P. Dewey Riley, <laughs> you are missed. But, like, yeah, guys, uh, tell me what you think. Who do you think the killer is? What is your overall thoughts of this film? Uh, you know, do you like the trailers that we got? Do you think, what do you think could have been different if, you know, you, you made the trailer? Like, what would you have shown? Anyways, guys, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for post notifications. And, of course, subscribe. You know, we're at 199, one off of 200. You know, we need that. <laughs> We love you guys, and thank you all for the continued support. We'll catch you in the next one, which will be The Last of Us Episode 1 review as we're starting The Last of Us. And yeah, be ready.